So, now I'm in Vile at a shopping mall and I saw this woman, she has a lot of art and just do a little promotion about her. So I'll just ask questions. I'm not much of an interviewer, but she was making a video. I just thought, let me just ask her. So this is your art? Yes, this is my art. Yes. So, and it's your own shop then? No, uh, it is uh, only uh, on... On, on Saturday is my last day because okay. uh, it's only contemporary uh, in, in, in this job. So uh, I move all my stuff uh, back to my workshop and uh, then, then uh, yeah. Oh, that's so, so it's only a pop-up. A pop-up? Yeah. Ah, okay, that's yeah. nice. So where will your workshop be? Uh, my workshop is, is uh, at home in uh, here in Weile, yes. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, by the way, do you know my, my father? He's also an, an artist. He's oh. a painter, too. Wow. Yeah. Great. So, uh, yeah, I was also walking here. Yeah, I just felt a yeah. little bit yeah. impressed about it. Yeah. Abstract and painter? Or yeah, yeah, he is an abstract painter. You yeah. can also, you've got Instagram? Yes. yes yeah? yeah. You can check on it. It's called Pum Art. I'll just get my phone and show you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah. well, we can just do it after <laughs> this little interview. I don't have to be everything or else it's too much. And I'll just walk a little bit yeah. to just promote right. little art. <laughs> okay, so traits, right? Trine. Trine, okay. Yeah, so, Trine, Campbell. Okay, yes. so anyone yeah. watching this? Yeah. yeah, just check it out. But I can take one, right? Yes, and then you're welcome. Yeah, so you can just click here. Anyone who's interested for art, my dad loves art too. I should also promote his art, but he should also promote himself, put more effort like Trine. <laughs> wow, uh, nice picture, nice painting. Yes, this, this, uh, there's a contest on this. Uh, if you go into uh, this uh, center uh, Instagram, yes, uh, you can... Um, Participate uh, on the contest on the of, of, okay. of this uh, painting. Okay. Yeah. Do you also sometimes do collaborations in art? Uh, no, I not have really. A, okay. A, a collaboration with with uh, painting. Mm -hmm. With no. painting? No. Okay. So more solo artists. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. So uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Very impressive. Uh, so because I see art at home and stuff, so every time I see art, I just come and, and check out the art. So I'll just start from here and go a little bit inside, check out the gallery. <laughs> so we're in the Weile Mall. Like I've been saying, I did a little interview. And yeah, showing you a bit of art. Anyone liking art from Weile? Just visit the Instagram. Of Trine, right? Yes. yes. Of Trine. Also follow Pum Art, uh, Pum Pum Nyoni, Pumi Nyoni, on Instagram. I'll try to also link it below. Very hard working woman. We can just do it after <laughs> this little interview. I don't have to be everything, or else it's too much. Yeah, well, I, say, I just say thank you. Thank you, and thank you to you. Yes, yes. yes. and yeah, I'll just give you my details as yeah. well. <laughs> and I'll just walk a little bit yeah. to just promote yeah. little art <laughs> for you. And what's your yeah. name? Uh, my name is Trine Campbell. Trine Campbell. Yeah. I you see, very good. Yeah. And she has a workshop. <laughs> yeah, so you know it. But anyway, thank you. Nice. Thank you to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Goodbye, but I'll walk around the mall anyway, showing a little bit around. <laughs> so, welcome to the Violet Mall. Yeah, we just walk a little bit around. Yeah, the, the art impressed me. It's all about art. So, yeah. But a mall is just as usual. We've been in many malls so far we've been going, but 
there isn't really much to highlight about. It's a, this mall is very small anyway, so... So... By the way, nice and stylish. So this is a place I used to sometimes come to eat. Denmark is expensive. When you come eating in Denmark, it's quite expensive, but this is one of the cheapest places. The Thai, yeah, this Thai restaurant. It's just a buffet where you put food together, it gets weighed, and then you put, yeah, then you can see how much it is. Most of the time it was like at the end of the month, when I saw the sal next salary is coming, so that's where I will just be spending the rest of the money. So I would come here and have some Asian food. Well, now I want to talk about when you come to Denmark, when you want to work in Denmark, you get your work visa, and yeah, it happens like this you first go to like the a place called Suri you know once you have a workplace and stuff you go to Suri for me it was in Aarhus so you register yourself that you are uh, yeah you are part of the population of Denmark when you go to Suri everything gets registered and then you get those papers you send them to a commune this is the Vile commune behind me and then weeks later you get your yellow card once you have your yellow card you count as a yeah kind of like danish you're part of the population of denmark so you have got your in health insurance the health insurance is also in the card so you have like it's called a cpr number that that's identifying with you that you are this person and after that it is you're also paying tax you paying tax in between you have to get something called a uh, meet id before it was called a name id that helps you open your account so once you have these two things because here compared to germany you have you get your e it's called an e-box so it's letters the letters are electric from that come from the government I hope it, the wind doesn't disturb, it's blowing. Let me just walk a little bit this way. I hope everyone can hear me. Yeah, you, first, before it was the uh, name ID it was called, so which was attached to your bank, but you have to go to the commune that they kind of open it, that you have access into your account and everything that you also can apply for your holiday money because the tax that you pay you're paying for tax and with that tax you're paying for it's for your holidays for your health so if you go to the doctor they take that money from you and they also it's also your like your pension so it will be half half the, the company pays your pension and the state pays for your pension so it's one of these two once you once you have that mid id you have access to everything to your account to apply for holiday health pension everything name it letters you get the letters from the government the only thing that was missing with me was to learn the Danish language it's actually not much of an issue if you can't speak Danish here but you will have little problems by finding another job because not in every workplace they employ you if you can't speak Danish in some places they can some places they cannot because 
these days in Denmark they are in lack of labor so they want everyone especially uh, yeah they are in lack of labor so if you can only speak English it's fine I never had the opportunity to learn the the Danish language I was working so much overtime so much overtime I never had time to go to the Danish lessons I wished to have learned Danish this is my biggest regret actually I had two I was here for two years came here during the pandemic where everything was shut down didn't really exp I was just working actually so I had a little bit of free time activity but not really as much I did go out but you know I was saving money that's how I had my did my big holiday that this is how I did my big holiday yep if you like it give it a thumbs up so I gotta say peace out